you were born and raised Catholic, but this is a Catholic Mass being said by women. A Roman Catholic Mass being said by women. Um, great story, uh, Women's Ordination Conference, and, and um, um, I find this whole thing quite fascinating. As you know, Catholic <coughs> women can be ordained. Um, in Protestant churches, they can. Uh, but what I found in my experience in San Bernardino many years ago when I started a women's ministry group, I was a campus minister, but I was not a woman because I wasn't allowed to be. And I spoke with a Lutheran and a Congregationalist woman, and I met with uh, Lutheran, kind of, I think, Presbyterian women who were ordained in those denominations. <laughs> and what I found out was <clears throat> I was getting paid more and I had more power in my church than they did in theirs, which was really interesting. They were ordained. I wasn't, but there was a whole lot of other issues here that were at, at stake. But at any rate, um, <clears throat> what I find interesting about these Catholic women being ordained, um, they are, of course, excommunicated, that's to say, it's, you know, goes without saying. Um, but they still want to stay in the church. Isn't this interesting? They still want to be called Roman Catholic. You know, they didn't become Episcopal. They could have. They could be ordained and stay in Episcopal. Uh, they didn't leave the church to start their own thing. They're, they're fighting to remain a Roman Catholic. Why? Well, there's a faith. There's a, there's, there's a connection there. That's their way to God. That's their communication with their Creator, is through the ritual and through the tradition of Roman Catholicism. So, um, and I... <coughs> If, if you're an Episcopal, Episcopalian, well, this is not any big to you. you know? But if you're a Catholic, you go, hmm. Oh, no. okay. um, oh, this is 